Howdy! Welcome to Resurrecting the Dinosaurs. You hear that kind of click, click, click sound there on that engine? That engine probably has four cracked gears in it. Today on Fixing the Dinosaurs, or Resurrecting the Dinosaurs, we're going to repair that. Well, what I have here today is two BL2 locomotives. These are old. The, the, these, uh, the BL2s were produced in the 1940s uh, by EMD. I have a Monon BL2. <laughs> it's, it's got a little facial damage. Not Other, other than that, it, it's not too bad. It, however, it needs, it also has cracked axle gears. All four of them. Same with this Florida East Coast BL2. I just got the Monon uh, in, a, in a horse trade last Saturday at a, at a local show. And then this one here I got, I guess, about six or eight months ago. So what I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to show you how to change the axle gears. For those of you who don't know, uh, one of the banes of these old Proto 2000 locomotives by Lifelike is, <laughs> it, it's the, uh, is the axle gears. This is what we call Kami Atherin. Uh, they used a lot of Atherin components to actually build these. And uh, while Atherin components in and of themselves don't fail very often, in the big scheme of things, they seem to have gotten a bad batch of them in, in these years. Need is a few reason. simple tools. And then these cover plates right here on the bottom of the trucks just easily pop off. Uh, okay, so they easily pop off. They're just uh, held on by a series of clips. And it's a matter of just popping out the old ones. And here's See when you ah yeah oh yeah that's that's bad that's that's pretty bad. You see you shouldn't even be able to take them apart, and yet I just took that wheel set completely apart. And let's check the next one. Ah uh, <laughs> again wheel sets that are falling completely apart. Those gears are cracked and see they're not they're not compressing down on, on the wheel sets or the axle nubs like they're supposed to on that split axle. You can get from Atherin the needed wheel sets comes in a package like this enough to do three four axle diesels or two six axle diesels and they will also work on the lifelike Proto 2000 series Diesels are the early Proto 2000 series diesels. And they really are basically just a drop in item. You gotta line up your bushings and get the bushing to go in. Once that bushing goes in, it'll it'll basically just kind of fall into place. Alrighty, there's one. And there's two. And you'll always want to lubricate with a little bit of molly grease. That's what I use. You can also use any white lithium or any white uh, uh, lubrication grease or any kind of black grease. I'm using a black grease here. You just get a little bit on there. It does not take much. A little bit goes a long way. A little bit on those gears. And then you want to get your light oil and the bushings you just put down in there you want to make sure those are lubricated as well. And you go back together by popping this back onto the truck and that one's together. And you just repeat on the same on the same thing on the other side, well, and you can up. see the Monon unit is working a whole lot better. Although that wasn't the one we we started out with.
after it runs in for a little while and those gears wear in, she'll she'll run fine. As you can see, it's it'll even pull a nice long freight train. Pulls it beautifully up that hill now too. After running it in a little while, you notice the gears are starting to quiet up. That's uh, that's because now the uh, new gears are beginning to wear in a little bit. So now I've got another locomotive added to my roster. Fairly cheaply, I might add. It's just another one of those little fixes. Until the next episode of Resurrecting the Dinosaurs, happy railroading.